welcome back to Seven Shelley's DIY. And I'm not just chilling in the garden in my new rocking chair. But actually, this is our new project this week. The upholstery is certainly deteriorated. Somebody has tried to recover it with just some cheap cotton material. The foam is deteriorating. I can feel underneath when I pull it up, it's just disintegrating. And underneath, you can see the straps, which also need replacing. We've turned the rocking chair upside down and as you can see now these row of staples are in here and I've got to get them all of these out to have a look what's underneath and that's going to be now my first job. So we've taken the cover off and got all the staples out that were on the cover but we found that there are more staples underneath it was covered before and there's so much dirt and grime in here we've now got to get all the dirt and grime out and all the staples that were underneath we've got to get out but they keep breaking so it's going to take us a while here's one here they keep breaking when we try to get them out Okay, we got the cover and the foam off and this was some of the uh, grime and the dirt that all come out of it the rest went up in the vacuum as you can see it, the straps have been tackled on along here on the sides and on the back as well so it means now I'm going to undo all these staples and take all these strappings off and put some new in So we've managed to get all the strappings off and what we've noticed is, as we've got everything off, is if you look in here, you can see that the chair was actually once painted black. So we've just been discussing whether to paint it black or not. I think that's a decision we're going to make in the next couple of hours. Do we paint it black or not or just leave it as it is? And we've got this sanding pad and we're going to go all over the chair with a sanding pad except around these edges where it don't have to be painted black just sanding roughly so that then the black paint will stay on a little bit better and when I finished I just take a damp cloth and give the whole chair a wipe over some black paint, water-based lacquer paint it is, and I've got a paintbrush, a good quality paintbrushes, and I've got a roller as well, and I'm going to apply the paint, first of all with the paintbrush on, then I'm going to go over it with the roller. As you see, Mr. Sepp is now the quality control. He's just checking to see if I've painted it right. He's just going over the room with the roll just to get rid of all the dribbles of paint that have, are on there. We're then going to let it dry and give it a second paint. We always give our furniture two lots of paint. And don't forget to subscribe and press that like button. We've finished painting the chair and now I've got my nylon webbing which I'm going to attach to the chair using a staple gun. I just thread it through here, stable it on at the back, pull it here at the front and I've got this tool that I can use that then I can pull it really tight and make sure I get a lot of tension on the webbing so that then the, the top's nice and tight. So you can hear now if the webbing's okay. So 
sounds like a guitar. And now we've got to do the webbing going across and we have to weave in between the one lot of webbing and then fix it over this side here. We've got to do about five pieces of webbing across. And that's what it should look like when it's finished. Now what's going to go on top? Foam, padding and material is going to go on. And then we're done. We've cut the foam down to size. And we, this time we're using two pieces of foam. This foam we actually cut with scissors. We didn't need a knife this time because it's so thin. It's two centimetres and we've used that doubled. And then on top we've got the padding. Can you just pull on the padding? We've already threaded it through the back because that was a bit of a nuisance it was quite tight as you can see so we're going to staple that on at the back then work our way forward and round the front as you can see i've stapled the padding on let's take a closer look unfortunately the film that i took didn't quite work out so i'm just going to give you a close-up of what i did here as you can see i stapled it into place all along here this is the sides along the front and i just cut any excess padding off and of course around the back as well. So we now want to do the material for the seating and first of all I made a pattern so that I got everything right. You have to cut out certain areas and I wanted to make sure that I did it correct the first time so I decided I needed to make a pattern because it looks a bit complicated. So here's my pattern and I've cut it into it little slits. That's where the corners are. Then I took this pattern and placed it on top of my material that I'm going to use and then I've cut it out now on the material. So now we're ready to staple the material to the seating. Okay, I'm going to place the material on top now, making sure I've got these slits there, they're meant to be my corners, all on the right spot. And then my first job is to push this through this gap down here which is a little bit tricky that's why I've got a paint scraper that will help me press down the material and thread it through a little bit I just need it to get it through just enough so I can actually just pull on the material I don't want to damage the material so I've got to do it gently So we're going to pull it through. That's it. And now we've got to pull it down to make sure we've got enough room to staple it underneath. Yep, that looks fine. I folded this edge of the material in. I'm just holding it into place underneath and we've got to just staple that into place underneath here. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to take the fabric, I'm going to pull it up and over. As you can see, I've finished the back bit, stapled everything into place. Now with the material, I've got to use a bit of pressure on my hand, pulling the material up and pulling it down on this side here. I don't want it too tight, but tight enough so that it sits nice. That looks fine. And now we can, on this side, staple a couple of staples in the middle and then carry on pulling up and over and doing the rest. So, and there we have it. Mr. Sepp's turn to sit in the chair. Oh, I think you need something on your head, don't you? Do you uh, need a pillow? I've made a pillow for you. And in my case, my sister's wondering, I've nicked her material. 
Okay, you've got to go forward a little bit. There we go. Now, you've got to smile, please, and say, this is absolutely brilliant and cool. Don't forget to press the button. The button. <laughs>